Hello, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Todd Taylor. I'm the Battalion Chief of the Wayne Township Fire Department. In previous segments, we've talked about taking the door off of a semi-cab and how difficult it may be. Today, we want to actually show you why that becomes so difficult. By looking at the interior of the door with the skin off, you can see that there's no side intrusion bar. All we have is rolled steel. As we start to try to pry this door off, more times than not, it either rolls down on itself or starts to rip. In today's segment, we'll show you a couple of ways to get around that. So we've arrived on a scene, we've stabilized the vehicle and we've removed the glass. Now it's time to remove the door. As we start to remove the door, remember that it must be gap, just as enforceable entry. As we gap the door, we're gonna start at the bottom. If your stabilization is in the way, we can start from the top. Unlike a vehicle, it's going to be really tough to get into this door to begin with. And again, overcoming the height, we could use a rollback as we showed in several segments. In this case, we're gapping the door from the bottom. As you continue to work your way up, you continue to gap until you get to the locking mechanism. Remember that the handle itself is not an indication of where that locking mechanism is. The locking mechanism is actually higher. working your way in to try to find that locking mechanism. Sometimes it's a treasure hunt. The locking mechanism is located, then you can start opening the door. Again, eventually getting to that sweet spot where the locking mechanism is. By using the lighter tools, it also allows us to only use one rescuer. But don't forget, your rescuer may tire out. Have somebody backed up, ready to go. get to the point where the spreaders won't work, we can call for the cutters to cut the nader pin. We spread it enough to get the cutters in place. The best combination is a spreader cutter. That way everybody is, is set and ready to go. Got it in deep enough that the cutter can make the cut. The door being opened, we can now cut the door off. In this case, we're going to web the door. We're going to cut the upper hinge first. Unlike a car, we're in a car, we would cut the bottom hinge first. As we access the door, the first thing we want to do is cut the higher wiring harness and all of the straps that may be on that door. Then we're going to move to the upper hinge. These hinges may very well be a little beefier than what you're normally used to working. Make sure you wrap your O-cutters all the way around those hinges. We cut the upper hinge after we cut all the wiring harnesses so that we can maintain control of the tool and the door. The door will simply go to the ground and fall away. Last cut being made on the lower hinge. We have it webbed back to control the metal. The door comes off, we pull it to the ground, keeping our rescuers out of harm's way and our rescuers are not trying to hold the weight of the door. In today's segment, we've shown you options on how to remove the door from a semi-cab. 
Remember to gap from the bottom unless your stabilization is in the way, and then you can gap from the top. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. Thank you to Almatro for sponsoring this. My name is Todd Taylor.